Another goal of the internet was distributed management. And there are many examples where distributed management has played out. In addressing, we have routing registries. For example, in North America, we have ARIN, or the American Registry for Internet Numbers. And in Europe, that same organization is called RIPE. DNS allows each independent organization to manage its own names. And BGP allows each independently operated network to configure its own routing policy. This means that no single entity needs to be in charge and thus allows for organic growth and stable management. On the downside, the internet has no single owner or responsible party. And as Clark said, some of the most significant problems with the internet relate to the lack of sufficient tools for distributed management, especially in the area of routing. In such a network where management is distributed, it can often be very difficult to figure out who or what is causing a problem. And worse, local actions such as misconfiguration in a single local network can have global effects. The other three design goals that Clark discusses are cost effectiveness, ease of attachment, and accountability. It's reasonable to argue that the network design is fairly cost effective as is, and current trends are aiming to exploit redundancy even more. For example, we will learn about content distributions and distributed web caches that aim to achieve better cost effectiveness for distributing content to users. Ease of attachment was arguably a huge success. IP is essentially plug and play. Anything with a working IP stack can connect to the internet. There's a really important lesson here, which is that if one lowers the barrier to innovation, people will get creative about the types of devices and applications that can run on top of the internet. Additionally, the narrow waste of IP allows the network to run on a wide variety of physical layers, ranging from fiber to cable to wireless and so forth. Accountability, or the ability to essentially bill, was mentioned in some of the early papers on TCP IP, but it really wasn't prioritized. Datagram networks can make accounting really tricky. Phone networks had a much easier time figuring out how to bill users. Payments and billing on the internet are much less precise, and we'll talk about these more in later lectures.